All right. Uh, hi, I have money. Nope, I can't do this. We're going back to short numbers. Get gem bonus. Get the rest of these. Go evil. Go goblin. Get goblin friendship stuff. Become gobman. I still haven't bought any structures yet. Well, this is silly. <laughs> I have already reached this level. Okay. So what does Goblin's Greed do? Instantly produce faction coins based on the amount of gems you own. Oh, well that'd do it. Increase the production of all evil buildings. Okay, now I know there's a trophy for the goblins. 100 Goblin's Greed spells in a row while not casting any other spells. Fair. Let's take a look at all of the other goblin abilities, I guess, briefly. What is this? Gem potency. Yeah, okay, I can see why that'd be pretty good. What are goblin moves? Gain assistance on uh, based on faction coins found in the game. Uh, increase the amount of production of buildings based on the amount of evil buildings you own. Tax collection is worth more seconds based on the amount of buildings you own. Production buildings... Oh, production bonus from gems is increased by multiplicative 150%. Multiplicatively increased mana regen based on gold owned. Increased production of all buildings based on worth in seconds of your tax collection spell. Each time you cast a spell, you also get a free tax collection. Increased faction coin find chance based on highest amount of witch conclaves you built in this reincarnation. And gain coins randomly every 10 minutes. Also works well offline. Huh. Yeah, you need more mana regen unlocks to, uh, for that one to get it remotely fast. Yeah, it's kind of what I figured. Let's see, what does Blood Frenzy do? It's good. But I think we might want to just pop Goblin's Greed a couple of times. And then bail. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Undead and demon. What does a fairy one do? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Probably grab strike and some other stuff. I mean, my, my income is stupid to begin with, so I don't need to worry too much. It's just slow. Well, I say slow, but that just means we can't instantly warp to the other uh, section. And we ha also haven't even gotten to neutral faction. Oh, wait. Allegiances trophies. Oh, God. Wait. Are these all factions that I haven't even found yet? What? Okay. Oh, some factions have multiple. Okay. I got worried. I got worried. Well, this is gonna, I'd say it's gonna take a little while, but this is actually probably one of the easiest factions to get just tons of faction coins. Because I don't really need to care too much about money. So what is that? Increased production of all buildings based on the amount of gems you own. Yeah, that's pretty pretty stupid strong. Well, I'll just chill. I guess I should probably be clicking. It does make me money. Let's see. What do we think? Maybe two more goblin greeds? Probably two more. I guess I should probably be selling the rest of those. 
just for the small bonus. And then greed up momentarily. There we go. Yeah, so one more cast of that and we'll be in the money. What is this? Villainous validation. Evil building production by 300%. Hell yeah. Probably go for the... Yeah, no, 100, 100 sextillion is way too much. Ain't, I'm not pulling that off. Oh yeah, set goblins greed to auto. You know, I honestly forgot about that. We'll have to go back and do an angel round eventually. Especially once we have all of the... Uh, like, we have some more things that give me extra mana regen. Because I can only imagine that's going to get nutty strong really quick. Alright. One, two, three. There we go. That's a lot of income. How far are we on the goblins? Eh, getting pretty close. And my income is pretty close. Yeah, I might actually get there before goblins greed pops. So we'll just snag that and, and hop. Because it could stick around, but it doesn't really seem like it's worth it. Let's see. Gosh. It's so weird to think that I'm like just kind of staring at the tutorial or the beginning of it. Yeah, let's just bail. We've only got 50,000, but I need more than this. Okay, purchase upgrades, right. Seen both of those. Uh, grab that. Grab all of these, go evil. Whoops. Who am I now? Is this undead? Yeah, it looks like it, I've paired with the undead now. I pressed the wrong button. Can you blame me? I'm very glad we started over. What does nighttime do? Okay, well, we've already made a decent chunk. The big problem is just getting enough uh, faction tokens. And that might take a while. Let's see. I mean, the other option is we actually just abdicate now and say, whoops a doodle. Uh, and switch over to demons. Maybe. I mean, the income is still good. Okay, offline production based on mana regen, which actually isn't terrible. Just know those coins are going to come in kind of slow. Because if I had the elven coins, then it would just be instant swap over, no worries. Yeah, we're already the champion. What, is, what does the heritage do? Additional assistance based on the time spent in game. That makes sense. I think the main problem is just that yeah, we're going to have to be here for a while waiting for these, these tokens to pile up. I, I think I'm just going to abdicate already. And we're just going to go evil demons. And hellfire blast. There we go. That's a trophy. I'm going to have to look at what some of these do. Wait, how much... What? How much money do I did I end up here? What happened there? Oh, okay, I have to look at demons for a second. Increased production of evil fortresses based on the amount of assistance you own. The three highest building tiers count more based on time spent as evil this reincarnation. 
Increase the production of all buildings based on the highest amount of hell portals you've built in this reincarnation. Increase the base production of evil fortresses and hell portals by that. Playtime this game counts uh, counts more by six additional hours. Increase the production of the three highest building tiers based on the amount of trophies you've unlocked. And max mana based on evil spells cast this game. Unfortunately, my mana gain is garbage, ain't it? Which is a bit of a shame. We got that quick, though. Yeah, some of these are going to be a little tough to pull off, though. Is there a place where it actually says the clock? Because unfortunately, I don't know what time it is in game. And so me casting nighttime when it's night, it might not be nighttime. Let's see about the rest. Hell portals increase your mana regen. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Additional in assistance based on the amount of hell portals you own. And production of hell portals based on the highest amount of hell portals built this reincarnation. So clearly I just need to go all in on hell portals. What is this? Production of evil fortresses, hell portals, and halls of legend based on the amount of trophies for 20 seconds by that freaking much. That would explain where I suddenly got all that money from. Uh... Well, boop. Oh, help portal production. Cripes. Okay, the the eye has it. Uh, does it? Oh, no, that's time, but not what time it is. It's based on UTC time. Uh, what is UTC time? Is that just the, uh, is that just UTC's, or, is that just zero? This is probably nine hours ahead of me. So nighttime should have triggered. Weird. And it's not the end of the world, but. Okay. I got tons of mana, tons of money. So yeah, why didn't the the uh, true knight proc? I am not sure. Do I just keep investing in hell portals? I probably should cast other things. Nah. We'll just kind of invest in those three. Yeah, it bugs out and can't tell the time sometimes. That's a shame. Oop. Increase the production of all buildings by 0.3% per hall of legends you own. Oh, that's, that's big. Let's see. What else do we do? Wait, this is definitely, like, by and far the highest income I think I've ever managed. At least in this game. I don't think either of those actually helped too much. Eh. <laughs> yeah, it's even going into scientific notation to tell me how useless they are. <laughs> Boy, Hellfire Blast is an expensive thing to pull off, too. Elves will be even bigger with the gems you have now. I just... Yeah. Yeah. I don't even... I... We'll do it. I guess. Uh, let's see. Demonic Heritage should be unlocked now, seeing as Undead Heritage is unlocked. Oh, you're right! So even if I don't have the, uh, the coin production, I can still bail. Perfect. Alright, let's abdicate again. I could do more, but why? Okay, so what do we do next? Because we haven't unlocked... ...anything. I guess let's just do Elves again. Okay. There we go. 
I just my man. Wow. I, I I just don't have any words when playing this game. It just immediately throws me into the deepest of ends, and it's fine. Okay, so how do we get the neutral factions? Because I feel like that's got to be something we get access to somewhat soon. Neutrals are a bit later. What do I have left to do? I need a billion gems. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, if there's a run to do it, this one's pretty up there. What don't you have left to do? This is still very much the early game. I just... I feel discomfort. My existence is broken. I don't know how to feel about any of it. We're just here. We're on a journey. We're on a bender. And I blame Avac for all of it. He told me once that he lost like months of his life to this game. And I've been curious ever since. And now I am here. Right, I should... Probably stop this for a second. So. Uh... Auto click moon blessing. And then call to arms occasionally. There we go. See, what are those first two upgrades uh, that are auto purchased on abdication? I don't see them when I, on my upgrade list. I spent 15 bucks on uh, on upgrading this game. I figured I'd, I'd go, uh, I'd wail a little bit considering I'm having a good time. Last two years of regrettably bad grades to it. I, gosh, I don't want to get into that topic too much, but there's definitely, I, I think about it sometimes in terms of, you know, how much I worked in school and how much like it was worth it. I think the one thing that I regret most about uh, my school days was, uh, I regret getting a summer job that was not worth it. I could have done so many other things rather than work for $7.50 an hour. That was an insultingly low amount of money. Okay. So, have I already pretty much doubled my gems? Eh, not quite, but yeah, we're about to hit a million. So I think it's probably in my best bet, best interest to just kind of keep... Uh, keep boosting myself. Let's see. What else do I want to do? So am I doing an auto-clicker? Oh, absolutely. Oh my god, yeah, we're getting... Like, 1.2... <laughs> we're getting million... Uh, not millions, I guess tens of thousands. Per second. Or maybe it's like, about... A thousand gems per second. That's absurd. I no longer care for money. Money is nothing. Increase your chance to find faction coins by an additional 2%. Cool, but what what is point? Okay, geranium weapons. A lot of things are very expensive. Right. And I should just be exchanging these because there's no point in faction coins at this point. That should give me, uh, you know, sext sextillion coins per, per second pretty much constantly this is n this is silly oh yeah let's grab that for even more ridiculous yeah it's pretty good I mean obviously moon blessing has a pretty hefty chain or uh, hefty effect here that's okay uh, let's see. 35 million. It's still going up pretty quick. Do I want to... No, that's going up. That's still going up obscenely fast. Okay. What do we want to do?
Let's see. Because, yeah, I'm definitely gaining obscene amounts of gems. I could reboot shortly and go even more aggressively. However, if I start over shortly, then I can potentially... Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Let's... Let's abdicate. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Let's... Let's do that real quick. Keep this going for a little bit longer. What's this? Yeah, that's good income. Because I want to abdicate, but I don't want to abdicate kind of meaninglessly. Or before my time. Now it seems like it's a little bit slower. But I think we're mostly just waiting for Moon Blessing. Because every time we get Moon Blessing to proc, we gain about 10 million gems. But if I come back later, we can Moon Blessing even further, even faster. Yeah. Okay. Stop this. Let's abdicate. Abdicate. We're going... Things. Wait, I just start with Faction Grinder? Oh, because I have the money. Wait, what is Grand Diplomat? Increase your chance to find Faction Coin. Well, that's absurd. Okay, going good. Going Angels. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on... Both of these. All of these. Grab the upgrades. Upgrade everything as we go by. We are we are have already entered into the sextillions. There we go. Septillions. This is not okay. I love it. It's busted. And I should have enough money that I can just invest into all of these. With no real limitations. I could just abdicate like a couple more times, because I, I know there's some trophies for abdicating a bunch of times. What does God's hand do anyway? Oh. That's not actually that good, is it? No, that's actually pre that's pretty good. What am I what am I saying? Boop. I'll just collect taxes on the regular. That's probably what does the trick. Yeah, we haven't even gotten our faction coins. We have we have not broken this further. Cause I can totally break it further. We just gotta get there. Let's see. Do we do another clean sweep? Maybe. Everything is pricey though. Yeah, I don't want to spend any of my coins. Why do I have so many angel coins? It's got to be one of the angel upgrades that I'm totally forgetting about. I will give credit to the elves, though. It seems like they go a little bit faster. Comparatively. So I might want to... I might want to pop back to them after this one. Though, alternatively, tax collection? There's a lot, there's a lot of money. It just ain't enough. There we go. I could also try the fairies and see what happens, but I, I think the fairies aren't going to be any good until I've managed to up their... Um, their mana gain. Once we've done that, then we become truly unstoppable. Okay, mana regen by 10%. I mean, that's that's just baseline good. Oops. 
Did that before God's hand procced. That's fine. Tillion coins, production of all buildings. Yeah, let's just abdicate. abdicate. It seems like elves are kind of the way to go in the meantime, just for the faction coins. Goblins too, maybe, but they have the really slow mana generation. Elven Trade Treaty. Okay. Just pop Moon's Blessing. it seems like my mana regen is actually pretty quick on the elves, especially if I'm just doing, um, Moon Blessing constantly. Okay. Clicks count more based on factions coin found this game. Chance to crit. Generating faction coins based on reincarnations made. Oh. Okay, that's useful. Yeah, look at those faction coins just roll in. Not that they're that important. But it just seems faster this way. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, I can scale that up so much faster. Anything else? Not really. Do we just wait for the coins. I think part of it is just uh, I'm kind of in that mild doldrums where I need some more things to happen, but I need to really work my way there. Okay, abdicate 10 times within 3 minutes. Click the advisor button 100 times. Stare at the change log screen for 3 minutes. And okay, let's, sure, we'll do some of those chivos. I'm going to do a couple of things. First and foremost, we're going to Export. Oh, I see. I'm gonna write this down just in case uh, I get just uh, screwed up here. Where is WordPad? Bam. It's just gonna be documents. Home grinder save. Okay, I got a Google Docs. Okay, so we want to import. Okay, so we've got that achievement. Next up, where? Oh, click on the advisor 600 times, or like 300 times. Advisor insight. Okay, next one, abdicate like a gazillion times in a couple of minutes. The problem is this is a, oh, what is this? Increase clicking reward by 50%. Sure. I could go for that. I'm getting like half a million coins per second, but no, let's let's just abdicate a bunch of times like right now. How many times am I supposed to abdicate? Oh, there it is. Rule dis. Got it. What's the next one? Uh, click the advisor button 300 times. Change log screen for three minutes. Okay. So now I just have to find the change log. What the heck is that? Is it this? Nope. That's music. Own one of each building. I think I probably already have that one. Where the hell is the change log? It's in options. Okay. Uh, oh, specifically only one, not at least one. Ah. Unitary. There we go. Okay. Settings, click version number. Oh, there we are. All right, cool. Uh, I will be back in a second. I Hopefully that doesn't pause the game. 
Uh, let's go back to smart. Grab those. I haven't even bought any upgrades yet, and I'm already just rocking it. Okay, so what does some of these do? Rule this. Increase the mana regen by one. That's pretty good. Speed run. Base clicking reward by one million. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, buy all of these. Auto roll moon blessing. Keep these going. Buy all of those. Income is pretty solid. Yeah, the very least we'll be able to have near 100% uptime on Moon Blessing. Actually, no. Absolutely 100% uptime on Moon Blessing. Neat. What does this one do? Production of all buildings by 10%. That said, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to afford that for a little while. Okay. Well, all things considered, looks like money is still coming in. I'll be back in three minutes. <laughs> 